I all in this video we're going to learn about looping using while loop and do while loop. For your information that for loop, do while loop and while loop they share similarity, very very similar to each other. So my my advice is watch the for loop video before you learn the while loop and do while loop. Uh, then you can uh, learn it easily. Okay. When we want to use a while loop, when there is a conditions or there is a program required for the repeating process. So this is exactly same as a for loop situations. Also, it is similar for its uh, flowchart. We have to test the condition first, and then it will go for the other parts of the code. It will loop and loop and loop until the conditions is failed. It will go out from the uh, uh, looping system. The syntax is also quite straightforward. We have in i, which is the initializations part, and then we have the for loop. Sorry, we have the while loop while with its condition, and then the other code at the increment part or the decrement part. So basically, they share the same um, concept with for loop. Let us compare between the for loop and the while loop. In the for loop, if you still remember, we have initializations or initial value, which is referred to this part in the while loop. And then the condition part of the for loop, which is actually referred to here, condition part of the while loop. And the increment or decrement part of the for loop, which is referred to here. And other part of the code, just copy over here. So the process is quite simple and same, same. Okay, by um, using this example, please fill up the table. I give you three minutes to try. Basically, the concept is same as for loop. Okay, let's try. Well, I hope um, you get the same answer. First layer, uh, sorry, first line when we go for int i equal to 1, int i equal to 1. This is 1, okay? And then we will go for the while loop to check the condition, whether it fulfill i smaller than 5. If yes, we just write yes. Next, it go to the inner part of the while loop. See out i. See out i. The i here in this case is 1. i. And then i plus plus become 2. So the process repeat and repeat until 5. It check the conditions as well. So the output part is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And you compare the, this example to the for loop example, they give the same uh, output. So I hope uh, you get this. We go to the next example. Change the following for loop code to while loop. Let's try. We have four initial value in i equal to 10, i larger than 7, i minus minus, and then see out. Let's try the way how I show you just now. Initial value, we move it out, and then the condition we maintain. We change the four to while. Next is the decrement part. We move it to the last line. Let's try it. I give you two minutes. Well, here is the result. Here is the result. In integer i equal to 10, move it here. Uh, one line before the while loop start. And then the 4, change to while. The condition maintained, no change. But we have to remove the semicolon. And then next, C out maintained, but the decrements of i value. We put it here. So this is how we change a for loop to a while loop. I hope you get this. And um, this shows the tables uh, that how the while loops perform from the previous example. For loop to the while loop, and then we can create the table and um, check its output. Okay. Now you may try if you want. Next, we look for the do while loop. What is the difference between do while loop and while loop? So if you compare, you will found that actually they share the same, almost similar things in, in i, in i for the initializations part. And then for the while loop, you can see there is a little bit difference where the while conditions, we move to the bottom, which is here, to the bottom of this part. And don't forget semicolons. And second thing is, we replace the while word with do. So that's all, that's all. This is how we move from while loop to the do while loop. And how about the concept? Okay, while loop concept is like for loop concept. You don't, uh, we, we must change, we must check the conditions. If it's fulfilled, then we loop. 
or else they will go out. But for do while loop, for the first round, it will not check the conditions. It will just straight away go to the court itself, finish the coding part, then it will go to the condition. It will check whether this is true or not. If yes, then it will do and, and repeat the courts. Okay. Otherwise, it will go out. So do while loop and while loop, the difference, most, the biggest difference is do while loop, you do first. There is one loop extra compared to the while loop. So you have to check, you have to choose properly when you want to use a while loop or do while loop in the creating a program. Let's try change the following codes to a while loop and do while loop. Okay, I give you five minutes to try. Let's check your answer. So this is the while loop. Please compare your answer. We have initializations, i equal to 3. In, in integer, i equal to 3. Before the line of wow. And then 4, change to wow. Maintain the condition. And in the part, C out, we maintained. But the, the incrementals, we put it um, just aligned before closing the wow loop. Okay, next is about the do wow loop. We maintain the initializations part. This while and the conditions, move it to the bottom and then put a semicolon. This part replaced with do. So basically, you will get the same answer when you run a for loop, while loop, and do while loop in this case. Okay, next, try for this example. Again, I will give you um, five minutes to try to create the while loop and the do while loop. Let's check your answer. For while loop, in i equal to negative 2, which is this part, initializations, and then change the 4 to while, maintain the conditions, i small or equal to 3, incremental part, move it to the bottom. So over here, why we have two incremental part? Because of this one. There is one i++ here, there is another i++ here. So we should have two. You also can um, remove one of it, change it to i plus equal to two. Okay, i plus equal to two. It also will work again, okay? but you have to remove one i plus plus. Uh, next, we have do while loop. Maintain the initializations part. Move the condition and the while to the bottom part of this loop. Replace it with do. So this is how we get a while loop, do while loop, and for loop. And again, when you run this code, basically they will give you same results. So I hope um, you will try later on. We move to the next one. And in some of the cases, you may face a nested while loop, meaning that a while loop inside another while loop. So you have to remember that we should complete this part, the inner part, then only we check and repeat the outer part. Okay, and then there, are, there is also, um, sometimes we need for loop inside the while loop or the while loop inside the for loop, okay? Um, yeah, so you have to custom yourself and try your best to understand how the code works. You have to remember that the inner part of the loop must be completed before you go and do the outer part. Okay, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.